My name is Dr. Margaret Herridge and I'm a critical care specialist at the University Health Network at the University of Toronto and I'm co-principal investigator of this study. This study is truly unique without a question because this is the very first study that has really documented in detail what happens to patients and their families after a very severe episode of critical illness. We previously have assumed that younger patients get back to normal, they resume their normal lives, but that is not what we found in our study. These patients who we followed in extraordinary detail, seeing them in person and in clinic for five years, who were really relatively young, previously well, and working, did not regain their functional status at five years after ICU discharge. This is enormously important because these are our working, younger pa patients who we expected to get back into the workforce and who now not only have physical issues, but who also have problems with depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress, and not only are they affected, but so are their families in a very profound and previously undocumented and unrecognized way. I look after patients after they have finished the intensive care unit stay and they come out to the wards at the hospital. This study has significant public health ramifications. We found that even in a relatively healthy and young group of patients, they never return to normal, even five years after the intensive care unit stay. In fact, the healthcare costs of these patients are two to five times higher compared to similar healthy workers.